Hey everyone, just wanted to make a quick video on how you can connect a custom domain to your Framer website. It's pretty simple to do, so let's go ahead and get started. So first I opened up my Framer website, and what we need to do is go to the top right where you see the settings icon. From here, we want to go to the left-hand side where it says domains, and then you want to scroll down until you see where it says custom domain. And what we want to do is select the option where it says connect a domain you own. Then you need to enter in your domain name. So for me, it's evandoestech.org. Then I need to click on the checkmark button at the right-hand side. So now from here, it's gonna give us some DNS records that we're gonna to need to add into our domain. So this is gonna be a little bit different for different domain providers, but every domain provider should have a dashboard that you can edit the DNS records on. And so typically it'll say something like update DNS configuration or DNS or DNS records. You want to find that on your specific dashboard. And when you do, you should see a section for records where you'll see a add record button. What we need to do is find the add record button. We need to create a record with type A, enter in an at symbol for the name. And then we need to copy this top value in this table here and paste that in the address leave the TTL alone, and then click on where it says save. Next, we're gonna to need to add in another record. This is also gonna be of type A with an at symbol. And then we need to copy the second row value in this table here and paste that in. Leave the TTL alone and click on save. Then we need to add one last record. This is gonna be of type C name. For the name, we need to enter in www. And for the value, we need to grab this third row, copy it, and paste it in leave the TTL alone and click on where it says save. So now whatever domain and service you're using, you should see these three records in your DNS configuration. And now if you come back to your Framer dashboard, click on the refresh button that should show up right over here. You should now see that your domain has been successfully connected to your Framer project. You can see that via the green circle that says optimized at the top right. And now if we actually go to this link, it's gonna open up our Framer website. So that's how you can connect a custom domain to your Framer website. If this video helped you guys out, please leave a like. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope this helped you out.